Okay. Just fill that completely out, and there's gonna be an entrance on the other side. Just come inside. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. She must say big oak, big oak tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got excited, Marissa. But... <laughs> Pull under that big oak tree over there. That's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's not doing it. We are at Brass Bend State Park. It's right outside of Houston. It's a fairly large um, state park. So we are going to ride our bikes and um, see what this place has to offer. I do know that when you uh, <laughs> check in, they ask you if you have any alligator safety knowledge. So. Um, We'll see what we get into today. <laughs> Hensley, you want to go ride the sickle? You want to go find an alligator? This swings. Swings. So this park is pretty big. It's got two or three lakes. So we don't really know where we're going yet. We're just going to ride around, see what we find. This is Elm Lake behind me. This is one of the large lakes. I think there's two of them here in the park. And uh, there are definitely alligators in here. We haven't seen any yet today, but they gave me the alligator etiquette when I came in. What to do when they open their mouth, what to do once they hiss. None of which involved going toward the alligator. Yeah, he's like, um, like hanging over the edge. Right and they now. said to keep an eye on your kid because that could be considered alligator bait. So, and I may call her gator bait while we're here. What are you doing, gator bait? Aww. Somebody's giving us the heads up that there's an alligator down here. And he said he said big old alligator too <laughs> and that was a ranger <laughs> this is gonna go first hi alligator hi alligator you see the alligator yeah there he is Not walking around. Walk around. We're not walking around, Gator Bait. Right, let's go. Let's see what else we can find. Let's go. Snakes. Snakes. Snakes? You wanna see a snake now? I don't think mommy wants to see a snake. Hiya snakes. Hiya snakes. Marissa is not going her usual speed here. My first time coming up on an alligator while bike riding, so I'm just a little more hesitant. Yeah. And then you have I know. I know. She's basically screaming, come eat me. <laughs> <laughs> adventure with your camping stay. This is a really great place to 
unpack and bike and catch some of the, <laughs> the nature scene out here. It's really beautiful. Just uh, makes it a little more interesting watching out for gators on the path. <laughs> person in this park freaking out about alligators is this girl I'm just in mama bear mode I mean <laughs> people people don't care but they're just they're getting selfies they're walking by it okay. he's just chilling he's, he knows he knows the drill say hey buddy okay. So apparently they've got this really big observatory here and we're going to go see about that because I think you have to buy tickets to do the uh, stargazing at night. So it's seven bucks per adult, and that gives you access. They said there's three different telescopes that are owned by volunteers, that are owned by volunteers at top. State Park. It was set up in Texas in uh, 19, the mid-1980s and it's really well known for all of its wildlife. Uh, there's armadillo, raccoon, deer, alligators, just tons and tons of wildlife here not to mention just beautiful trails, uh, tons of campsites. I think there's I don't know from 65 to 70 um, campsites you can come to with your RV and then they've got primitive camping on top of that so Lots of places to stay. Uh, really, we've been really impressed with it. It's it's the best state park we've been to so far in Texas, uh, which we've only we've been to maybe five or six so far. One of the things that's so beautiful about this park, and, and several of the parks we've seen in Texas, are these live oak trees with a Spanish moss. So we are a sucker for some Spanish moss. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because it's our last name. Spanish moss? No, moss. <laughs> half of Spanish moss is our last name. Not just because the last half is our last name, and not just because our kid loves the sticks off these Spanish moss trees. <laughs> I mean, they're they're some fine sticks, um, but they're they're just beautiful, and I don't know they set the mood. I'm not into the Notebook and stuff like that. I'm sure <laughs> some or something, but. See the alligator, Hensley. See him. See? See him? Alligator. Shh, no, quit that. I'll give you five dollars to touch his tail. Alligator. At least ten. 
I'll give you nine. No deal. <laughs> I feel like you get more comfortable being around the alligators because in the beginning you just feel like alligators are like, I don't know, gonna attack you or something, you know? But then once you're around them, you realize that they're not aggressive at all. I mean, if you're not bothering them. I'm glad we have that mutual understanding. <laughs> Mark's got it all. <laughs> wow. All right. That's. <laughs> Is that you, Frotten? Can you do a little better? <laughs> no, all right, I can't here do she it. goes. Here she goes. <laughs> wow. Is that your scare face? Kids. All right, that's better. All right, yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> Is mommy funny? <laughs> How's this? <laughs>